A former Palm Springs High School student allegedly threatens to kill everyone at the school. Luckily, the whole thing turned out to be a hoax and no one was hurt. KMIR 6's Adriana Weingold joins us now with those details. Adriana. Well, police were tipped off by concerned parents who saw a posting on Facebook. The post warned students to stay home from school. A former student threatening to harm them, saying he had a gun and was going to kill everyone. Palm Springs High School graduate David Torres is behind bars, charged with criminal threats. After posting on a friend's Facebook page, quote, I'm going to kill everyone at PSHS tomorrow, so stay home. I got a gun. The school district and law enforcement always takes any kind of idle threat, doesn't matter what it, it is, if it's a threat of any kind, we take it seriously and have, have collabor we have plans for collaboration and response. The post was reported by parents and police arrested Torres within hours. After searching his home, they realized the Facebook post was a hoax. We take these matters very seriously. Last week, the trust and the security of parents and children in the United States of America was shattered by the incident that happened at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. Uh, it is our responsibility as law enforcement to resurrect that safety, and we will do everything possible to make sure that our children are safe and that parents feel safe sending their children to school. News quickly spread online, some students choosing to stay home even though the whole thing was fake. Others are disturbed by their peers, agreeing there's nothing funny about threatening to bring a gun to school. If I saw this kid, I'd tell him to grow up because that was really immature what he said on Facebook and especially after what happened over in Connecticut because nobody should be joking around like that, especially during this time. Palm Springs police have already ramped up patrols at all schools in the city. They say threats of any kind will not be tolerated and they're encouraging students, teachers and parents to keep an eye on one another and report any suspicious activity immediately. Again, the post on Facebook was intended as a prank. No one was hurt and no weapons were found. Students and teachers were alerted early this morning about the threat. The campus was not placed on lockdown. The former student who posted that, uh, that he intended to harm other students at the school, was arrested before the school day even began. Back to you. All right.